This project is about three things. It is about memorializing in a living, positive way a man who meant a great deal to me and was like a mentor and older brother. His name was John Marshall, and he died about four years ago. The second thing, it's a commemoration of a battle from 100 years ago where the British Army lost 60,000 men on its first day. It's called the Battle of the Somme. And one of the men who died was a very promising young composer called George Butterworth, whose song cycle, The Shropshire Lad, was the first song cycle I ever sang. The third thing is that countertenors don't have much music written for them. We can dig around in Purcell and Blow um, for songs that were written for castrati or for mezzo-sopranos. Um, there are operas, obviously, by Benjamin Britten that seek to fill a gap, but there really isn't very much repertoire, certainly no song cycles that I can think of that are English poetry art song, um, as you would find by Quilter or Finzi or Vaughan Williams. These cycles don't exist for countertenor. In early 2013, Jeffrey Silver contacted me and wanted to create uh, a companion set to the Butterworth A.E. Houseman settings uh, of A Shropshire Lad. And we went quickly about picking some poems from, from Houseman. We managed to create this quasi-narrative sort of uh, dreamscape um, of a soldier thinking about home and thinking about what what he left behind and what waits for him when he comes home. The process of creating the set, uh, once we had the texts in place, we got together, I sat at the piano, and Jeffrey stood next to me, and all we had were the texts. We had the houseman in front of us. And uh, I started improvising at the piano. I set the mode and the, the sort of the tone and atmosphere of the piece. And Jeffrey started improvising melodies over that. Uh, we wrote down almost nothing. Where this comes from, these notes here, uh, I took the recording that we made and I started pulling out the, the germs of ideas that would work to, to create bigger structures and songs. So all of this set really comes out of uh, that improvised first moments of sitting with Jeffrey and, and um, confronting the text in, in real time. And it was just such an organic experience to sit down with someone who really loves the text, clearly loves this text, and for both of us to be able to, to create something out of, out of nothing uh, other than, than uh, just our, our, our mutual regard for, for the words. So up until this point, this has been quite a personal project for me. Uh, I approached Greg with the poems and said, please create something. Um, we recorded it together. I booked the concert hall and the pianist, tuned the piano, learned the songs. What we need now is to bring more people on board to help with the finances of the project and to ensure that as many people get to hear it, particularly students, and their teachers, both in Britain and in the United States. Because this gap, this absence, not just of John and George Butterworth and the 72,000 men whose bodies were never found, but this absence of the ability to express, through the countertenor voice, English poetry, that, that is something that is missing. It's another thing that's missing. And with your help, we can help right all those wrongs and create something brand new that will stand the test of time and that I fervently believe is a lasting addition to the repertoire. It's a significant contribution and really hope you can come and join us. Thank you.
Stay once upon another's world.